Welcome to another AWR 360 ride. Feel free to look all around you. To the right, to the left, and also behind you. This is Myanmar, formerly known as Burma. Myanmar is nestled between India, China, and Thailand along the Bay of Bengal. There are more than 135 ethnic groups here, speaking a multitude of languages. It is estimated that 89% of the country is Buddhist, another 5% practice Islam, and only 4% are Christian. Because Myanmar was a military dictatorship until 2011, and has been embroiled in one of the world's longest running civil wars, it is difficult for evangelists to be effective here. Unless, of course, you use radio. With a small staff working from one location, messages of hope can be recorded and later broadcast anywhere in the country, in any language. Local AWR producers, who understand the customs and culture, handcraft programs that deeply impact their listeners. AWR shortwave signal doesn't originate within the country. Instead, it comes from a station located more than 3,000 miles away on the Pacific island of Guam. Having a signal travel from a place these countries can't touch makes the gospel message unstoppable. Regardless of political turmoil, religious persecution, or limited physical access, the message of God's love will get through. This is exactly why AWR is such an effective method for spreading the word of God. Shortwave antennas can be aimed in such a way that the signal bounces off the ionosphere and deep into the regions, so remote that the villages often don't have names. Now, one would think that in this day and age, with all of our advanced technology, television or the internet would be a more potent tool. But what you have to realize is that only 25% of Myanmar has electricity. In fact, today, right now, 1.2 billion people worldwide do not have access to electricity. For people in such areas, their only form of news and entertainment is radio, if they can afford batteries or somehow come up with a small solar charging panel. In many countries, it's not uncommon for villagers to gather in groups to listen to the radio programs. If they like what they hear, they soon invite their neighbors to join them. Those whose lives have been transformed by the message of salvation often become informal evangelists themselves. They are inspired to share Jesus Christ with everyone they know, and their humble testimonies are simple but compelling. And truthfully, they are shining examples of how each of us should be living our faith and sharing the voice of hope with the world. You're listening to Adventist World Radio.